I just did another video where I brought my three Festool Vacs home from a month-long uh, kitchen edition project that I had done. And I showed that uh, how packed the bags were. Uh, when I got back to the shop, I just checked them and, and realized that they were just packed tight. Uh, they didn't indicate it on the job. They were still uh, sucking the dust through, and so we didn't check them on the job. But when I got here um, and started to just check them, I realized I needed to change the bags. And this is uh, my original Festool that I've had for a long time, and it uses these uh, older style sort of paper bags. And possibly they've replaced these bags with a newer, um, it's still kind of a paper, but it's almost like a quilty fabric. Uh, seems to be more durable. But uh, these bags, I've had boxes of them, so maybe my bags are older. And possibly if I got a replacement bags, they would be of that newer style as well. But what I did on this one was I picked up one of the reusable bags from Festool. And so since I had to change the bag out, I went ahead and put it in. And I'm pretty impressed with this bag. I've had it for a while sitting here, but I was using the paper bags and uh, just realized, oh, I have this. And so it's a, it's a, it's a really well-made bag. I mean, it's stitched. I mean, this is like a North Face jacket from REI or something. It's got a nice cap on it. So when you pull it out, you cap it. And then there's a, a, a sleeve basically that pulls off and opens up the bag, a big wide mouth so that you, you can see how big this thing is. And it's just a nice product through and through. Like I said, the stitching is amazing. It's like high-end clothing. But, uh, and this is kind of tough to put on. And I guess that's on purpose so that it'll um, really hold that closed and not let any dust escape. And it's got a, a plastic ribbing here sewn into the material. So it really has a good bite with this. And then uh, to, put them on, to put it on, it's pretty straightforward. You just pop the cap off, and then it's got a ribbed mouth, a large mouth, that you just press in, and then the bag just floats in here, and then when you turn it on, it fills up. And then there's a couple of uh, uh, the, you know, the HEPA filters, which catch that fine dust, so when the air is sucking through it, um, you know, any of the fine stuff that pulls through, the bag would then be caught you know, in the filter. And that's another thing, just a side note while I'm here, is uh, when you get these, you know, these vacuums are not inexpensive, but when you start to open them up and you look at the difference in these and say your typical hardware store shop vac, or whatever brand, um, they, uh, there's, they're nothing like this. There's quite a bit to them. So you can kind of understand that uh, these do cost quite a bit more to manufacture. But as I, this, I haven't used this bag yet, so it'll, I'll have an opportunity to see how well it works. And if it does, it'll save me the cost of, of uh, having to replace the bag and also keeping them in stock. I can just dump it out and uh, shake it out and then um, you know, put it back in. They aren't inexpensive, so it'll take uh, quite a few fillings to break even, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Well, if you like these tool videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, but most important, share the videos with others. If you want a set of workbench plans like you see me using my videos, just click on the links right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.